Hey there, we have Brian McIntosh joining us at the Real Talk Media Studios, all festive and fun. Yes, how are you doing, May? Good, how are you? Happy holidays. Happy holidays to you, too. Thank you. It's going by way too fast. I know, already. Like, I'm thinking, already. I had a big chunk of my shopping done, and but I still have a big chunk left, and I'm thinking, oh no, it's coming sooner than later. <laughs> I know. You know, the but time, it's exciting at the same time, time passes, seems like time passes for me by like tax season. When I have to start getting my tax stuff together, that's how I'm like, didn't I just do this? Like, I feel like I just did this. I know. And here we are again. <laughs> and here we are again. It goes, I think it goes faster the older that we get. Yeah. And I don't know why that yeah, is. But I think so too. Maybe we're having more fun. Yeah. That could be what it is. <laughs> So, okay, we'll talk real estate because okay. you're a wealth of inform information. And I want to know, you know, some people may, may be curious about this. What are the advantages to working with a small brokerage or firm? Well, okay, admittedly, I'm biased, okay. <laughs> right? right? Because, you know, I'm 50% owner of my company and we're a smaller company. Um, but we actually really like it that way because of the advantages, I think, of working with a smaller firm. And, and here, here's what they are, I think, for for clients, right? Is when you're working in a smaller firm, there's a personal touch maybe that you don't get, right, if you're working with a larger firm. Now that doesn't mean that all larger firms don't have a personal touch, that's not what I'm saying. Right. I'm just saying that with our company especially, right, if I'm someone's agent, they have my cell phone number. They call me directly. They can text message me directly. They can call me at four in the afternoon on a Sunday. It's okay. They're not calling an office number that goes to a voicemail that they won't get a return call for two and a half days because it's Friday at four o'clock, right? right? That doesn't happen when you're working in, in a smaller firm. There's a personal touch there. There's a personal level of service. And that we take a very high degree of pride in. Right? We're very purposeful about the way that we service our clients. I think you and I have had conversation in the past about how my my motivation to get into real estate started, right? right. With the, with an agent that I hired and then never saw again, never spoke to again. I remember again. that story, clear <laughs> as day actually. So right. that always stays true in my mind. And I think, you know, when someone hires me, because people don't hire companies, they hire people, right? When someone comes to me and they ask me for their help, right? I want to be there for them in that way. I want them to, feed, to have that personal access to me so I can assist them with whatever they need during what is oftentimes a trying and stressful and, you know, there's a lot of tribulation in buying or selling a home. There's a lot of uncertainty sometimes. People don't know the process and it can be confusing. So if you have somebody there who's always there, who's patient, who understands what you're going through because they bought and sold a lot of houses personally themselves over the years, especially in stressful situations and that sort of thing. I think it's just really, really helpful for the clients and it's something we take a lot of pride in. And you build not just a relationship, but a friendship with them. Absolutely. Because you do have the time. You're a boutique firm, so you have, you know, you, you, you invest a lot easier. That's right. Which is great. Yeah. Okay. Well, great information to be had and you, you come from a great one. So. Thank you. Thank you. That was Brian McIntosh joining us at Real Talk Media Studios.